we were in a competition with 35 other teams and we took first place in ribs. No way. Wait, wait, your first time. No first time way. Using this in a competition. Wow. Yeah. That's okay. remarkable. That's yeah. a very yeah, it impressive. Was, it, it was a good day. I, I think it's actually like really beautiful that you guys are doing this. This is really amazing. It's, it's like your your romance hobby. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I want to get four different barrel smokers. Really? Yeah. And then I promise I'll get rid of the other ones. <laughs> <laughs> oh, she doesn't believe you for a minute. We need a bigger house. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this is like me wow. and cameras. This is Welcome to Coffee and Cameras, a weekly podcast where we like to sit down and have a casual conversation about marketing business and all the things we love. So pull up a seat to our table, get out your own cup of coffee, and get ready for some awesome tips, tricks, and stuff you can take away and actually use in your own business life. My name's Jason. I'm Hilda. And together, we're EO7 Media. Welcome to Coffee and Cameras. I love to be messy. Hilda, do you like to be messy? No. Okay. Well, I love to be messy. So when I eat, <laughs> I need like lots of like food. Like you ever like have like all you can eat ribs? Yes. Okay, I'm done okay. with this. This is the most terrible intro ever. What Guys, the hell is wrong please, with you? We would love to introduce our guests for the week, <laughs> Coletta's Kitchen, Adam and Celine. Adam and Celine, thank you so much for being a part of this. Thanks for having us. Thank you for having us. Yay. <laughs> so uh, Adam and Celine, you own the business Coletta's Kitchen. Kitchen. I'm saying it right, right? Coletta's Kitchen. Oh yeah. my God! Thank you. Uh, so, t I mean, tell us about it. Like, what what it is? What what is it you do? Uh, it's basically an online barbecue sauce and spice rub for now, uh, and we're working on getting our own like brick and mortar. And you are eventually, yeah. Uh, that's that's the end game goal. Okay. Uh, yeah, we would we'd love to have like our own barbecue school, um, and have like our own butcher shop. Where people can get like high quality meats and what? do stuff like that. That's and teach, cool. Teach classes. What's a barbecue school? Like uh, a school to barbecue. Oh, shut up. <laughs> Yep, that's it. No, really. I know, but like, what do you learn? Well, how to like, make barbecue sauce or how to cook the ribs? How to cook or ribs, how yes. to cook chicken. All of the above? Uh, to how to do competitions, because we, wow. we do co competitions. So, uh, yeah, we do. We teach anything barbecue. That's awesome. That's so cool. So uh, here's something to take away from this right now. Uh, I think so many business owners jump into their business and they have like a, like some goals, you guys sound like you have goals for days. Like you have stuff set up like I see 10, 20, 30 years down the line. Wow. Uh, without going into too much detail, this is a side hustle for you guys, right? Yes. There. So how did you guys start? What, That's awesome. what brought it about? Uh, so I've been cooking since I was like five years old, making mac and cheese, hot dogs and stuff like that. And I really love being in the kitchen. Uh, then it kind of just grew into, uh, roommates barbecuing and I wanted to be better than them. So I learned how to, <laughs> uh, I get that. I get there was that. Definitely ribs competitions and things like that throughout the household. Uh, and, um, when I got my first smoker, my brother came over and we had ribs and I used store, but barbecue sauce. Oh, <gasps> is and, that a no, no in the business? Well, I mean, when you're just getting Look started, at face. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this was before, before the whole. Yeah. Thing. Gotcha. Yeah. It was, gotcha. My, it was my first smoker ever. Mm -hmm. And my brother was like, Oh, these ribs are fantastic, but store, but barbecue sauce, really? No one's going to take you serious about oh, that. Okay. Wow. So I was like, all right. So I took that challenge and I started creating my own barbecue sauce. Um, and one day, you know, I'm working on it and Celine gets home. She didn't really know I was doing this. And I'm like, Hey, come here, try this. And I had her try it. And she's like, this is amazing cocktail sauce. Oh no. Yeah. Uh oh. Oh <laughs> no. Yeah, I said that. I said that. <laughs> Verification. Yeah. Whoops. And Wait, so, what, what was the sauce on when you tasted it? Just nothing. It was on a wooden spatula. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Got in the house because our back door is leading into the kitchen. So the moment I got him, he can go, try this, try this. And I'm like, okay. And 
I didn't know what I was trying. Oh. So the moment I tasted it, it tasted like barbecue sauce. Oh. Cocktail sauce. Not cocktail sauce. Cocktail sauce, yeah. Yeah. yeah but so like, a, a little like, what, what does a cocktail sauce taste like? Like tangy? Like, yeah, with like horseradish and stuff that yeah, you put horseradish. For, for yeah. Okay, yeah. Stuff. See, that's what I, I love thought. cocktail yeah. sauce. Okay. Yeah. So you had great cocktail sauce. Yeah, great cocktail. <laughs> and I don't know what I did to replicate it. <laughs> okay. So, uh, I don't but know. you changed the formula yeah, since so, then. But okay. after, you know, a lot of practice trial and error uh we came up with uh a bourbon bacon barbecue sauce um that i i really like um but when we started competing uh the judges didn't like it um did they say why they they, they, well not specifically but this is the kansas city barbecue society so they are used to a kansas city style barbecue sauce ah okay so um we were getting scores and they, we get feedback that says this ta- barbecue sauce tastes funny. This is kind of different, you know. And so one of the guys on my team was like, well, maybe we need to go buy a Kansas City style barbecue sauce. And I was like, well, why don't I come up with oh. a Kansas City style barbecue gotcha. sauce? Yeah, gotcha. man. And after we did that, uh, we were in a competition with 35 other teams and we took first place in ribs. No way. Wait, wait, your first Time, first no time way. using this in a competition. Wow, yeah. that's okay. remarkable. That's yeah. a very yeah, it impressive. Was, it, it was a good day. Okay, How ladies. long ago was that? Last year. Oh my god. Yeah. Oh, so this is the one you were telling me about. Wow. Oh my god, that's amazing. So okay, so first and foremost, it's amazing to take first place at anything. But <laughs> let's be honest. I'm sorry. I am part of the Fat Boy World <laughs> Revolution. Uh, I have been at these these types of uh, uh, competitions, it's rear rib competitions specifically. These guys take their shit really seriously. To wow. win over, you had 35 other contestants? Yeah, coming in as a newbie. Yeah. And, and no. You know, it was funny. We, we were hoping, we were like, well, okay, we could do like a, a top half. I think we were pretty, you know, we were feeling pretty confident about that. And when they started doing 10, 9, 8, no Coletta's Kitchen, 5, 4, 3, no Con- Coletta's Kitchen, 2, I started walking away. <laughs> oh, uh, my yeah, God. I was like, literally uh, turned around no. and yeah. was walking was away. Like, and then they said, Coletta's Kitchen. Yeah. And we're like, grabs him and yeah. turns him around oh, yeah. and push him towards the stage. And he's like, what? He's like, we <gasps> won. <laughs> yeah. That's crazy. Yeah, that was a lot of fun. Okay, okay. now I'm super so, excited to come over to their house for sure. Know, right? <laughs> yeah. That's authority right there. That is like that is getting your name out there. People have to be drooling over trying to taste your stuff. So you go into what like what's your next step? We started our website. Uh, we had our website going about the same time. Um, and we've been promoting on Facebook, Instagram, you know, all the social medias. Uh, and going kind of door to door, like hitting up Ace Hardware and asking them. Celine was uh, in Yorkville, Ace, right? Mm-hmm. Like and you literally walked into Ace Hardware stores and you said, can I put my shit on your shelves? Really? I work IT, obviously. This is not my main gig. So one day, one of our clients is actually in the same strip mall as that Ace Hardware. Mm-hmm. I walked in there and I was just looking at their giant barbecue selection and I was picking out a bourbon one. I just want to try a different bourbon one to see what it tastes like compared yeah. to his bourbon one. So the one of the managers came up to me and go, oh, you should try this one instead of the one you have. And this is made by a local person and i'm like oh you guys carry local barbecue sauce he's like yeah we do we carry a couple of them and like he pointed out one he's like this one used to only have one now she's branched out to like four different ones wow. and she's in a lot of different ace hardware so wow. i'm like wow that's great i'm like we have a barbecue yeah, sauce exactly Good for you and he's like well when you guys get it bottled you know bring us a sample we can definitely Talk no to our salesperson, way. sales manager, and put you guys on the shelf. Dude, so way to go. That's I so baller. Went home and told him, and he's like, okay. And then one day we set up a day to drop off some pulled pork to serve with our barbecue sauce. Ooh. And then. Oh, I love that you brought the pork, not just the that sauce. Is a that huge is a huge thing. Yeah. Love that. Yeah, so this guy has to do the cooking, and then we have to go up and sell it. So, yeah, they were their first. Wow. So Brick and mortar on the on the market. This yeah. on your Instagram feed. Let me see. <laughs> this photo uh-huh. made me stop. 
This is brilliant. You mean the marketing. empty shelf? Yes. yes. And I'm going to take a screenshot so we can show it on the show, obviously. But this is so clever that you went back to the AZ's hardware and said, oh, they're cleared out. That's they're so awesome. They're all gone. Well, they invited us over for a actually pitch a tent and everything and serve samples to people that come to their store. On a, on a Saturday, Saturday, Saturday yep. like Brilliant. one of those day samples yeah. that Costco yeah. has. Yeah. So nice, like I that. love yeah. that. As we're giving a sample, we're telling them, "Hey, it's available in the store because we want to sell their stuff." Correct. Right. So Correct. at the end of the day, we have to restock them, but they haven't restocked the shelf yet. And of course, I ran in and go, "Oh, yeah. oh my god, that's take a picture! Awesome. It's gone." That's, that's amazing. awesome. I love that. It's, it's exposure. You mm-hmm. know? Yep. Well, it's, it's huge. Yep. But like that is so simple people will spend hours and hours and hours they're just like trying to come up with an idea like how do we say that people love us without saying people love us you have a photo of an empty space where your stuff used to be yep yep i love that that is amazing and let's not skip over the fact that she just said oh you carry like just pay attention to the information yes. people are offering. Like you carry local stuff. Well, we're local barbecue stuff. What can we do? And you just follow through. It's, it's you just that so well. You just talk to people and ask questions. So that's great. Fucking kudos, man. I'm proud of you. I mean, they they always say like networking is your greatest tool. Yep. And literally face to face. No matter what the brand is, no matter what the business is, people will never go out of style. And knowing how to talk to somebody. Okay, you guys got that. Thank you. (laughs) Thank you. Not an office watcher, by the way. So after we actually drop off samples to the store, the staff got to taste it, you know, with the buns and the Mm. stuff. So the staff got to taste it first. That's clever. And so the staff is pitching our barbecue sauce Uh because they've tasted it. it. Yes. And they are, like, helping us sell out. Wow. That's genius. I, I love that. I never that. understood any place that that says like, oh, like you can't try the, this food or, you know, you have, you have to buy it yourself. I'm like, get the fuck out of here. You you want me to try and sell this for you and not know what it mm-hmm. tastes like? Yeah, for sure. I don't know. That's brilliant. That's brilliant. Mm-hmm. I love that. So smart. Okay, okay. So why did you start the business to begin with? You talked about like enjoying this, but this is a side hustle. This is yeah. not like a main source of income yet. It, yet. Yet. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> That'd be great. Uh, it started mostly in our basement. Our poker buddies come, we play poker like once a month with all our friends and they're just like, Adam, you're being wasted. You know, you're uh, being wasted. You're wasted. Your talents are being wasted. Oh, got it, yeah. got it. I'm like, and, he's and also my, oh, wasted. There you go. Yep. So there yep. are some bourbon being drank during these <laughs> yeah. games. Well, it's in the barbecue and, sauce and, somehow, so right. And they're like, this needs to get out. This is really good. Um, you know, we're not just saying this. You're onto something. Like, um, they they leave with like bags full of food. Like, they, there's never leftovers at okay. our house. You know, okay. That, that yeah. says yeah. a lot. Yeah. yeah. So they weren't just lip servicing you. No, That's awesome. No, wow. No. I'm not sure if my friends like me or my food. <laughs> you, know, uh, you know, whatever. Yeah. The end result's they, the they, same. You right. have friends. <laughs> they, you know? They've been amazing. Like, just like, you know, being in that kind of community of like, hey, let's try this. Let's do this. Um, and try really being supportive of us um, trying to grow this mm-hmm. business, you know. That's so, great. Yeah. Wow. That's really cool. I, I think it's very easy for friends and family to do like, oh, it's awesome. What you do is awesome. Good job. But like, that's one of the worst things you can do to someone because they're not helping them grow. Mm. And that brings me to a story that we were talking about up upstairs where you had a logo, but then you asked for an opinion of who, like, tell me this, this story and then how it made you better. Well, you, you did this. You get to tell the story. This one. <laughs> yeah. Pull that mic close and tell the story. Take this blame. Yeah. Yeah. Well, we went to, where was this barbecue class that we were at? In St. Louis. In St. Louis. Oh, oh, oh. Okay. A very expensive barbecue class, uh, an award winning guy that was teaching this class and they're inside this big store that sells mainly barbecue stuff and they have shelves of different brands local big box all of it okay so it got to the point where i walked up to the register again and i goes what do we need to do to get on your shelf i love it and he's like well just bring us a bottle and we'll sample it and we'll let you know and well, he was busy learning stuff as I'm trying to pitch mm-hmm. our sauce. Mm-hmm. And then finally, we were, we were kind of on a break. So finally, I brought the sauce and I told him what the guy said. 
And then the, the one of the managers came up to him and go, oh, can I give you some feedback about this bottle? That's, and then he came amazing. in. This is me. Or I already ran back because they started teaching stuff mm-hmm. again. So I'm like taking notes and stuff. And he's like, do you have a minute to come over here? Yes. He, he wants to give us some feedback. Okay. On so the, the manager was the manager of what? Of the actual store. store. Oh, wow. That's okay. incredible because that wow. means he's taking the time to actually yeah. mm-hmm. talk mm-hmm. to you instead yeah. of he was. just he might have wow. away. I believe he was the owner uh, okay. of the store. But okay. And That's managing incredible. It. Yeah. Wow. And, yeah. and the fact that you guys were open to feedback is huge. Yeah. Oh, I was super open to feedback because I that was my first time actually designing a product label mm-hmm. that we put on. And I was looking at it going, there's a lot of blank space. I don't know mm-hmm. what to do with mm-hmm. it. Mm-hmm. And then... He brought us up to the rest of the bottles and was like asking, he was asking him like to look at the other stuff and go, what do you see on these ones Mm -hmm. that are on the shelf? He was pointing out like a lot of the bottles are black, Mm -hmm. like different styles of logo, different Mm -hmm. colors cap, like Mm -hmm. all of these things that would make a difference. Like, Mm -hmm. do you see any? Do we want to talk about the before and after? I I think that's that's what we're talking about. So yeah, Yeah. show show us the before. before. This is the original logo. Hold hold, hold it up. To her face? Yeah, yeah, yeah. (laughs) So turn turn the dog more towards your face. There you go. (laughs) The dog more towards your face. <laughs> Just say baby. make out with it. That, um, okay, that's so dog. that's that, our oh, original. So the original. Oh my God, I can't is, wait to go down that. that it's path still too. on on the spice rub because we haven't reordered the spice rub okay. yet. Gotcha. We're getting close. Okay. But, so the original will go still on the spice okay, rub. But so as you can see, the spice rub, the label is pretty full. Yeah. I was gonna say that is but, pretty full because it's a different layout for mm, different size it's a smaller bottles. Label. But gotcha. when you look at the when you look at the mm. sauce bottle, you notice that that logo looks it's, super small. It's narrow. Yeah. The words are very small. A lot of negative space. There's a lot of things. And the first thing he asked us is, "What are you, are you selling barbecue sauce? Or are you selling your company? And oh. that was when we noticed that the Colada's Kitchen name, brand name, is about the same size as our Wigglebutt barbecue sauce brand oh. name. So he's like, are you selling your company or are you selling the sauce? So we're like, we're, well, selling the sauce. And then he's like, do you notice that most of these bottles are plastic because it's less to ship when it's plastic mm. right. but then we don't want to switch on a plastic because glass is so much better for you yeah and agreed you and know, it's the infinitely whole, recyclable yes, if yes. that's yep. less microplastics it's better coming and, out last yes. the shelf life is longer so this is the, the so new after, one re, 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 real quick can you just talk about that like, like real quick I, I don't want to yeah, cut you totally. off but like that's super important and I think a lot of people don't don't know about that that glass is like one of those things that's like it's not just for like show for like it's more expensive it's like legitimately a real concern yeah uh i just i've always liked glass better than plastic i like drinking out of glass over plastic i'll take that any day um but yeah they i think it was like six months less of a shelf life with uh half plastic. a year really yeah. wow um, versus our glass bottle mm-hmm. um oh, yeah is there a huge price difference between plastic and glass? No. no. Uh, shipping. Only, Only yeah. shipping. Yeah. Got it. Oh, it's okay. mm-hmm. And then um, for green mentality, uh, glass and aluminum are infinitely yeah. recyclable. Yep. And, and we're also not. working on a video so that you can use our glass bottles for cool stuff afterwards. Love so, that. You know, oh, my that God. That is brilliant. Yeah. So dispenser, you know, okay. faces, bars, like, lights, mm-hmm. you know, anything. Love that. Yeah, we're working on putting a video together to... To show, like, hey, we can now, have fun with our bottles. Why would you want to do that? Because it would be cool to have this bottle in your house forever. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> but I, I do want to talk about what you changed about the logo yes, okay, yes, before yes. we go too so, far sorry. off topic. I, yeah. I, yeah. God, that's so smart. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, so the dog is bigger. Dog's bigger. Okay. Um, we showcase that this is. Our barbecue so sauce. So hold, hold it up, sir. Sorry. There you go. Uh-huh. Uh, showcase our barbecue sauce mm-hmm. um, with still our company name on it. Okay. Um, it has award winning because we've we've had Clever. awards. Nice. Um, yeah, actually, mm-hmm. it's um, MSG free. Nice. Um, Made in the free. USA. Gluten um, free. Yay. Is, is Local. it really? Yeah, I love that. Yeah. And I, I yeah. actually go out of my way to support local mm-hmm. communities say, and if, made in the USA like, stuff. If I go to a, like a, a like a side shop on the side mm-hmm. of the road or something mm-hmm. and they say they have local stuff i will check where it's from before i am even interested in buying from it and if it's like shipped from another state i'm not interested and it's not local is it it's not mm-hmm. local but if it's like down the road mm-hmm. or like that part of the region mm-hmm. then i'm way yeah. more interested. I'm, so I'm willing to pay clever. an extra few bucks I for am that too. Uh, 100%. yeah right 
And then uh, lastly, veteran approved. Which, Ooh. how did you get that? Because like literally that was the very first thing I noticed on my, there. My brother is in the army. Get the fuck out. So that's how you get <laughs> veteran approved? Well, uh, okay, I mean, so all part, your shit is going to have veteran yep, approved absolutely. because your dad's a veteran. Come my dad, okay. <laughs> it's, not, it's not just them. Like we did a cook for 150 army. Okay, oh, that is epically nice. more awesome. And, and, <laughs> nice. Uh, I, I can say that they loved it. They asked us back already. <laughs> that's um, awesome. They gave them a plaque. Yeah, they gave really? me a plaque for, for doing the cook for them. Okay, um, seriously. It was, it's th- That was the coolest day I've done in a cook Aww. ever. Because um, my brother's retiring, and he wanted to treat uh, his soldiers um, and hired me to come out there and do it. And so, yeah, we did a huge cookout for, for them. And, yeah, it was it was it was awesome. That was the coolest thing. We've wow! Ever done. Yeah, wow. I respect the hell yeah. out of that. Hundred yeah. percent. That's amazing. Yeah. Okay, so I, I totally made the joke at the beginning. Please <laughs> ignore the shit out of that. I'm sorry. Um, oh, yeah. That is amazing. That's, yeah. And yeah. I love how you buried the lead on that story too. Like <laughs> my brother liked it, <laughs> and so did 150 <laughs> other people. <laughs> And and I love that the dog's tongue is sticking out. That's mm-hmm. just such a perfect touch. Is that like was was that the original photo? Yeah. Oh my. So God. the original photo was just him with his tongue hanging out and so standing who's, on who's grass. him? Who's Let, let's let's dog. talk about who him is. Uh, his name is Flash. When it's nice enough for him to go to competitions with us, he's there and. He, I love that. He That's was awesome. just at the flea market with us this past mm-hmm. weekend, oh. um, sitting in the chair, being a boss. You know, That's I, amazing. I love it. Yeah, I like, love it. So <laughs> when we were trying to come up with the name for the bottle and the sauce and all of that stuff, <laughs> even when we were just starting as the bourbon sauce, he was like, oh, let's just do Colette's Kitchen Barbecue Sauce. I'm like, and Flash is like, I'm like, why don't we just call it Wiggle Butt? That would have been awesome, Is, is that too. legitimately the first? Well, well we were we'd... actually first trying to name the, the rub. Okay. It was just going to be, you know. Colors. So that's it's why it's called barbecue. Wiggle Butt Rub. We were trying to go for uh, Bulldog bold, Barbecue. Bulldog Barbecue, but that trademark has already been taken. I was going to say, gotcha. that sounds too And un- then we yeah. were kind of spitballing back and forth. And and, and I, I think I said something w- about Wiggle and Celine. Like, he's like, it's a Wiggle Butt, butt Rub. It's a you Butt know? Rub. I'm yeah. like, oh, catch your attention. It's a that's Butt Rub. Awesome. Wiggle yeah. Butt Rub. Yeah. yeah. There is, there's so many levels to it, though. Mm-hmm. And like the first time I heard, I don't remember who says that at first, but as soon as I heard it, I was kind of like, uh, wait a minute, because butt is a type of like pork mm-hmm. like uh, mm-hmm. or like cow too, right? Like a, cu- a cut of meat yes. Yes. that you use yes. to cook. And it's also the wiggle butt, so it's exciting. <laughs> yeah. It's so the butt rub, which is funny on top of it. So like the more <laughs> levels you have, the more it's like, uh, uh. <laughs> like, like, it just makes you more happy the more you think about it. So after we got all that feedback from, from the guy, I was... Upset that I didn't have my laptop with me that day because I had to wait till I go home uh-huh. to like redo all because we were in St. Louis. Had to wait till I get home to get all of the stuff done, and then that's when we came out with the new logo with a bigger dog. Uh, it, it's smaller it's so company good. name, bigger sauce. Yeah. Name. So what did you learn? Like taking that whole experience about having someone go, "Do you want feedback?" Like, just walk me through the like what the internal dialogue was. After he gave you all the feed, 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 feedback. Funny thing is, normally when you're like, I have feedback for you, I'm like, do you now? Oh. Well, <laughs> let's, 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 with the website, because I was like, I put a lot of heart into Let's website. just tell people that your oh. background is in graphic design let's, and logos. Yeah, I was going to okay, say. Because yeah. she's not just a random person. I'm not just a random. Yeah, I went to school for art and design and stuff. I mean, I used it for a couple of years, but the place I was working in wasn't. Got wasn't it. very pleasant. so you're not new to graphic I'm design not new to graphic okay design. got it I actually okay. do it quite often and when certain things i get a little more uh with like the website like i was just saying mm-hmm. i yeah. put like a lot of hardness so when someone goes by the way you need to redo the wording or this color is kind of weird like i'm just like okay you, did you did you even say your website looks amazing? Can you but, start with that? Yeah, <laughs> but I have some feedback for mm-hmm, you. Like, mm-hmm. yeah. So when the guy at the at the barbecue place was you know saying, "Hey, we have some feedback," I was just kind of like, "Okay." He he did say that it's a good start. Mm-hmm. You know. Yeah, he started with he started with the compliment yes, sandwich. Okay, yeah. yes. good. Yeah. And then he points out like, "Look at these ones. What do you feel is lacking?" This is the things you need to do. That's a good teacher. Yes. Yes. Because he's not telling you what it is. He's saying, look, observe, and figure it out. Yes. Yeah. 
And then he's like, have you guys win an award? You could put award winning. Have you, like, is it gluten free? Mm-hmm. You could put all of that. Thing. Yes. I learned that from you. Yes. Yeah. So mm-hmm. we, when we were at the, the flea market this past weekend, a lot of people ask about that. Is your sauce gluten free? Because they don't even want to mm-hmm. try it if it's yep. not. And yep. our, our sauce is fortunately gluten free. So it's, it's like, I guess getting feedback really depends how you approach mm-hmm. the subject. Mm-hmm. Of course, everyone wants to make their things better, mm-hmm. but they don't want you to step on their things first yes. and then tell You don't want to feel bad about you're your fancy. baby. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Mm-hmm. You, you don't want to be like, hey, your baby's not that good looking. You want to be like, <laughs> you know, you know what would be like the prettiest baby picture ever? <laughs> this is how you do it, you know? Uh, okay, that's Just actually saying. a good, good way of saying yeah. it. It's, yeah. it's how you package it. Yeah. So that's your, really your baby smart. ugly? <laughs> Take it outside. Because like, it was, they started with the website, like, hey, we have some feedback for your website. Not, oh my God, you just designed a shopping cart website <laughs> by yourself with no experience of a website. Was I've this your never, first time doing e-commerce? My first time <gasps> building a no shopping cart. Wow. Okay, I had to Google everything. It is not mm-hmm. fun. I've done it once. Oh my God, it was it's, so hard. And it was I just will like, totally pay someone else to do it next time. <laughs> <laughs> I know, but then it's just like. You you learn as you go, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. And then once you pick it up, it's it becomes your your tool. Mm-hmm. But it was just mm-hmm. kind of like before you even go, hey, your website, oh my god, amazing, can mm-hmm. ship and stuff, takes coupon codes and stuff. <laughs> oh, oh, harder some, than you think. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we have some things that you know you can fix on the verbiage. Mm-hmm. I'm like, mm-hmm. yeah, okay, yeah, all right. But I you, got you took it. You took the ad- advice. Yes. I mean, mm-hmm. we we want to be better. Mm-hmm. If there are things that we need to work on, That's I will admit that there are things we need mm-hmm. to work on. It's my right, first right. website. I don't usually do a lot of text and verbiage and stuff. If you feel like, hey, you spell something wrong. And mm-hmm. being an English as a second language, I spell things wrong all the time. <laughs> yeah. But like. English is first language. I was just going to say. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So it's like, and sometimes when you read copy for so long that you no longer see the copy. Yes. Because you always read it in your head. You don't 100%. see these things. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So for someone else to read and go, hey, mm-hmm. you missed something here or you misspell yeah, yeah. something here. Oh, yeah. That's very important. Mm-hmm. That, that's why wanna... we send each other yeah. scripts All back and like, you know, like checking emails and checking quotes and stuff because we always catch something that the other person doesn't see. Yeah. So that's yeah, important. feedback important. That's why we have this brand new label that looks super cool. I love it. it. And it looks really yes, good. It really does. Yes. Like, like every once in a while, you, you just say the word, like it looks professional, which is kind of a dick thing to say because, <laughs> well, you are a professional and you did the first one. So the first one should look professional. <laughs> but there's like a level of difference. Like I used to design DVD covers when I used to make DVDs. Oh God, and I did they, too. They, they look terrible. And then once I made one that was like a little bit better because I paid attention to what other people were doing. Mm-hmm. And people were like, well, that looks professional. Mm hmm. I was like, like, oh, what? well, shit. <laughs> All right. So my other ones? <laughs> yeah. It was one of those where you look at your old work and you're like, oh, my God, I did that? Oh, yeah. And I thought it was the best thing at the time. And I look Every at it. The, at, at the time, life. at the time, it yes. was the best thing. I feel the same way when I look at old galleries. I'm like, what the heck did I do? But it's like you just learn and keep growing. I edited all. something yesterday and I'm like, mm. I gotta re-edit that shit. Stop. Okay, no, no, but I, I know exactly what you yeah. mean. And I, I think that's not just a creative thing. I think that's like business thing. Like when we started our businesses, we both kind of started it with the same kind of mentality. Like we had zero business background. We just kind of jumped into what we love to do and go, mm-hmm. oh crap, now we gotta figure out everything else. Yep. So being from a a a a lifestyle of having a nine to five job. What is that like on your life to have this side hustle that is not just like, oh, we'll do it one of these days. Like, this is kind of a full time business. It's getting there. Yeah. What's uh, it? What's it like? I think, well, um, when we get home from work, we're, we're working, but it doesn't feel like work. You know, yeah. do it. Do what you love and you don't work a day in your life uh, kind of thing. Uh, so, you know, I'm usually working on something creative. Um, or fine tuning or, or going over like what we got to do for competitions and things like that. And then Celine makes me look better than I really am. 
<laughs> Meanwhile, I'm trying to. Okay, what's wrong with this logo? <laughs> how many how many shirts do I have to put together the, for the, the logo's team? The logo's done. Yeah. The logo's well, great. Like if you don't know, none of these are actual lo- actual logos you pull off the net. I was gonna I say I've never seen the all American of these wow. yeah. by myself. So while he's done and he's sleeping in bed, I'm sitting in front of the computer like even eleven at night and I'm like drawing <laughs> logos and I'm just like this is not even my paying gig. But, but are, it's are you gonna enjoying build it? up to. Oh my god, there you I go. love graphic design. Like I miss it so much because i do it now Mm. it is more dealing with people and expectations Mm -hmm. not so much fixing their things because when you can't fix it you just have to call someone else who can that's just how that works so it's it's more like managing expectation but graphic design is something else like you're pouring yourself into Mm -hmm. it to get to a place where you want to be and it's not the same experience yeah yes am i happy when my clients computers work of, of course, course. <laughs> but you get to have a creative outlet with your graphic right. design yeah it's that's not super me important going, you didn't plug your usb in your mouse that's why your mouse doesn't work <laughs> kind of situation. Pep problem exists between the keyboard and the chair yes so it's like it's a it's a different place for me to exercise my uh my creativity that i usually that's don't awesome. get to do at work so. i think it's really cool that you guys have each other because i think going into a business and wearing every hat yourself is so exhausting. Yeah. Being able to lean on someone is just amazing. Mm-hmm. And I, I think it's really cool that you guys found this and did this together. I think I think I, I think it's actually like really beautiful that you guys are doing this. This is really amazing. It's um, it's like your your romance hobby. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Right? You talked about uh winning the the first awards. Was that how many competitions have you done? Uh I think since then, probably of like four or five different ones. Wait, in a year? Uh, yeah, we, we do about four or five a year. Yeah. Wow. Whoa. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I mean, that's not just like showing up and being like, okay, here's my sauce. Let's go home. It's preparing for what it. What do right? you do to prepare usually? So, uh, like starting tomorrow, I have I have a competition coming up on this Saturday. Okay. Uh, and um, so tomorrow I will go buy all the meats, uh, go get all the supplies, um, you know, coal, wood, all that. Um, make sure that my my grills are, are spotless. Um, I actually started that probably a couple of days ago, reseasoned them. Um, Do you bring your own grill to the competition? Oh, yeah. Yeah. We wow. bring we, we usually bring at least two. Sometimes three or four. Ask him how many grills he has. How many grills do you have, Adam? Uh, nine. <laughs> you said it sheepishly, but I think I think what you meant was nine. nine. <laughs> and, and and I want, um, we have nine one cater, catering. I want three more catering ones so we can start doing catering. I get on that. A big, oh on a my and god! And then um, and we're using the one one of the catering for competition. Well, I've learned when I went to that class. What a lot of the big time guys are using, okay. they're using barrels. So we want to get barrel smokers. I want to get four different barrel smokers. Really? Yeah. And I promise I'll get rid of the other ones. <laughs> <laughs> oh, she doesn't believe you for a minute. need a bigger house. <laughs> yeah. This is like me wow. and cameras. Yeah. Why do you need another one? This one does something different. Yes. Yeah. I need 14 more. Yeah. Yes. And you do have about 14. Yeah, probably do. <laughs> You're like, that's a half frame. I need a full frame. And I need the full frame that does this I other thing. I need the APS-C thing. for my, my B camera. Oh, my God, you guys. I need my Bolex 2 to shoot 16 millimeter, which is on the docket. Let's I'm, not even I'm bidding talk right ab- now on eBay. Let's not even talk about the lenses that you're... Oh God, oh, I love lenses. 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 It's so much fun. Yeah, but like you can get like... Anyway, let's not talk about... <laughs> okay, back let's, on topic. Let's not be literal about coffee and cameras. <laughs> and then Friday, we we start prepping. Um, I'll, I cut up all the ribs Whoa. to make them look <gasps> right. The and Friday before? The, yeah, Friday before. We, so you can... You mean the day before? Yeah, or the, the day week? before. Okay, day before. Yeah. Okay. You can, you can take away from the meat. Uh, that before a competition starts, you can't add to it. So on, what does that mean? So so when we get our ribs, it's not cut up all nice like what you get at a grocery store. Uh-huh. Okay, I'm getting like um, a St. Louis style um, rib, and I'm cutting things up. I'm squaring it up. I'm taking the membrane off. I'm making it look like picture perfect. Okay. Before we take it to a competition to okay. actually cook it, why is okay. that important? Um, because you get scored on that. <gasps> yeah, presentation. Oh, for real, yeah, really. Presentation. Do, the bare meat alone gets. No, 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 no. Okay. But, but when you turn in, you know, 
when you got it. it. Imagine the state of Illinois is your slab of rib. Okay. Okay. I'm, I'm listening. The, <laughs> so by the time he's done trimming it, mm -hmm. it's gonna look like a rectangle. Yeah. Classic. So you you trim it down to Chicago size. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Exactly. Sometimes when he trims it, when you're <laughs> done, you like the that? slab of rib is mm -hmm. only about that big. Gotcha. Gotcha. From a rib that could wow. have been this big when you get it at no the store. Kidding. Wow. Yeah, but okay. A lot of cleanup. Okay. The yeah. chicken chicken we usually so you turn in six pieces when for a competition. Mm -hmm. We'll bring eighteen pieces of chicken, and for me to prep it, I, I'm probably a little bit slower than most, but it'll it'll take me three hours. Okay. Just to prep the chicken. But you're not a professional chef yet. No. no. <laughs> but you, you have to, it's you take process. chicken thighs. Mm. You've seen chicken thighs that kind of look like, mm -hmm. and then you, you make them look like these cute little nuggets. Mm. You know? Um, you, you mean, they look like little bowels. They look yeah. like that big. Yeah, they look, yeah. You're speaking my language here. <laughs> <laughs> bowels. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. <laughs> Body by bow. Yep. I really want to. Like, you've invited us twice, and both of them were during gigs, and I'm like, oh, I'd rather do that than a gig. <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, yeah, so th this is exciting. So you're doing one next Saturday? It was September 7th? Uh, we, yeah, well, this this weekend, would the 20th. Oh, this weekend? Yeah, the 26th. Oh, God, this weekend. And like Park so, Ridge, yeah. Local. Oh, that's yeah. right by me. Yeah. Wait, well, the 26th. No Is that excuses. Saturday? Yeah, Park whatever Ridge. Saturday is. Yeah. Okay. And uh, what are you doing there? Uh, the competition? I know it's a competition, like, but like, so this competition I'm like do I get to, like to eat it? That's yes. what I, oh, so, really? So since we, we bring like six racks of ribs okay. and we turn in six pieces. So oh. we invite our family and friends to come out. And we hand out samples to our Hell family and friends. Yeah. So who yeah. votes? Is, is, is it a panel of judges? A panel of judges. Uh, okay. So okay. there's six judges. You know, that's why you turn in six pieces. Mm. I think that's and smarter so, than crowd participation. Yeah, well, there, one, yeah. one, there are some where it's cool in one sense because most of the time the crowd participation and crowd vote it's to support a charity. Mm. So you can get, oh, so got it. Like, that's cool. Like we, we've lost the crowd participation a lot because some of these teams are bringing a hundred people that's, with them. That yeah. was my issue. That, I don't mind because we're, they were raising money for yes. veterans. Yes. And that's what it yeah. is. At the yes. end of the day, it's like, cool. Yeah. I don't mind losing yeah. if this goes to someone who needs it. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, but this weekend we're doing ribs, uh, chicken thighs, and then chef's choice. And so uh, our team came up with a um, an open face sandwich. It, it, we didn't develop it, but we've made it into these um, bite sized version of a Kentucky hot brown. What's a hot brown? So back back in the day, uh, back in Louisville, Kentucky, uh, the rich people at the Brown Hotel were drinking the bourbon, right, getting a little little white girl wasted. Uh, Don't say that like it's a bad thing. Tell, tell us more about the history white, of this. The white girl wasted so, is so they, right they here. That's absorb, my brand. I'm gonna get. I'm gonna get a T-shirt like that. Why? Please do. Thank you. Please do. <laughs> okay, sorry. Uh, okay. No, it's all right. And so they came up with this sandwich that's on on bread with turkey and bacon and a Mornay sauce with um, tomato. That sounds drunk and, AF. And <laughs> so we're doing our version of that where we smoke the turkey. I'm making my own bacon. I cured my own bacon. Um, Why? And, what? Yeah, what? Uh, um, when There's you, a video on our YouTube uh, I didn't nice. see that. Nice. Yeah. Now you have Jason's attention. You it, said bacon and YouTube and all it, in one sentence. Those are my two favorite verbs. And when <laughs> yeah. you make your own bacon, like the first time I ever did it, I had this like look of so surprise because it it tastes clean. That was the like it tasted amazing, but it had this really clean and fresh taste to it. And if you watch the like when the oil comes off bacon, the bacon fat renders, yeah. it, it was clear. It didn't have that like light brown look. Really? That, yeah. What makes what, a bacon clean? Uh, I think just making it yourself and just using good products wow. with it. And no preservatives. No preservatives. Mm, yeah. Interesting. So it's like the jerk uh, jerky I made. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, it's yeah. not very shelf stable, but yeah. man, does it taste oh, better. It's yeah. so good. It's yeah. so good. That's wow. cool. That's yeah. really wow. cool. Yeah. So we're doing that as our chef's choice. Um, oh, that's fun. Yeah. So we get to be creative on that one. Yeah. Guess where I'll yeah. be on the 26th uh, in yeah. Park Ridge. Yeah. Uh -huh. Not working. <laughs> 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 so uh, in your line of work, I, I, I think. In anyone's line of work, any business, authority is plays a huge topic because every business needs to show authority in order to gain social proof, to gain people coming in and buying stuff or services. What would you say your authority is 
in your line of work? I, I think being able to, like when I cook something, I, having that confidence to showcase it. So like just when we went to the flea market, you know, people aren't going to just try bar- or buy barbecue sauce because it's just sitting on a table. Mm-hmm. So True. I bring pork shoulders and we hand out pork butt shredded pork uh, samples to everybody. Mm-hmm. Um, and, you know, it's funny to watch as people, they grab a sample, they start mm-hmm. walking away and then they mm-hmm. turn back around. <laughs> yeah. And they're like, wait, wait a second. Did you make this? Yeah. And and then I'm like, yeah, that, this is this is something I do. And they're like. And well, what's with the barbecue sauce and the rub? And I was like, this is my recipe. This is what I came up with. Mm-hmm. Um, and I think that kind of makes me the authority on. Mm. on nice. You know. Right. Because th- that's going to make me believe that I can just buy some meat and put that on right. there and yeah. I'll be like and a chef. Yeah. 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 Right. Well, I can't like, like I've, I've gone to flea markets and people will just hand out food to me. They'll like they'll put it in my hand mm-hmm. and I'm like, I didn't want this. And then you try it. You're like, oh. Yeah. You know you're going to buy, buy three it. of these yes. things. Yes, hundred <laughs> percent. I'm not that bad, but I, I, no, it's, it's, it's I, not in a bad way. Yeah. But it's yeah. like I, I've been happy every time I've brought them home. Yeah, yeah. Yep. I do speak loudly though, so like if I'm talking to one person, I'll speak loud. So I'm like, hey, will you want to try a free sample of of our shredded pork today? That's you know? clever. That is clever. You know? Love so, that. And when the when the one person walks by, I'm like, no. And then the next person will be like, I'm going to try that. Who passes up free pork? <laughs> that's right. You know, so that, yeah, that's, that's the fun part about that's it. That's awesome. Yeah. That, that, that. That's really clever. What, how do you think, like, what sells your stuff more than anything else? I mean, it's, it tastes great. Oh, <laughs> someone has an opinion. The aroma. Yeah. Really? When we, when he busts out a fresh one, so this flea market, we're outside, but we're in a barn-like building. Mm-hmm. Clever. So when he opens that foil yep. and that smell oh. gets out, it actually attracts people from outside trying to trace where the smell is coming from. And then they'll end up where we are. They're like, mm-hmm. oh, this is where the smell mm-hmm. is coming mm-hmm. from. Mm-hmm. So it's it's very aroma. You know, you smell it first mm-hmm. and then mm-hmm. you want to try it. Yeah. And we actually had returning customers because last year we did the haunted all night flea market. At In Wheaton. Wheaton. Yeah, yeah, they're doing it again this year. We'll be there again. And so they came back and they're like, oh, yeah, we still have some love. We're about to run out. So glad to see you guys here. That's and awesome. And they bought more. The spice raw, sometimes awesome. just the sauce. It's very exciting. Okay, quick wow. marketing thing. Are you getting people on camera saying that? That's a good idea. Are you collecting emails that. so you could send them reminders that you got new we stuff coming out? We get emails when they order online. But okay. generally when people walk through, we okay. don't try to okay. hey, give me your email. It's if you have good. a sign up, it could be like 5% mm-hmm. off. Or... Almost. We're always like, hey, if you are now, our QR codes in the back of the bottle. And they're nice. like, oh, you're co- oh, okay, cool. Great. I mean, we do have some returning last year that someone bought at the flea market and then ordered again mm-hmm. later nice. in the year. That's great. On the website. That's but an amazing feeling. Also, That's like so cool. keeping up with them and reminding them that, hey, Christmas is right. coming if you're looking to give this as gifts. Yeah, that's yeah. a great idea. We, we will talk to you after this about another <laughs> podcast we, we do. Because um, so I have ideas. <laughs> during holiday, we actually have this as a gift pack. I mean, we sell it as oh. a combo now. What do you do? during the holiday and last year during Halloween, I have it wrapped in a cellophane package mm-hmm. with Halloween's a gold clever. ribbon so that you know they could buy it as a holiday yes. gift present mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. bar mitzvah whatever I, mean, I um, love that you know the time of year Hanukkah mm-hmm. do you yeah. have like a 4th of July thing because I'm, I'm thinking of like what's grilling weather like grilling weather for me is when the snow starts yeah. hitting the ground mm-hmm. because you know I'm chubby and it's all heat, year round. Not, not fun yeah. yeah exactly so the easy thing with the cellophane is that all I have to do is switch the ribbon to a oh! different <laughs> color ribbon different theme then I could move from Halloween theme to Christmas theme like it's okay. all just in the ribbon because the Dude, cellophane's that's clear smart. So yeah, that's I mean, smart yeah. it's, it's simple Simple enough to be repeatable and identifiable yeah. mm-hmm. without breaking the bank on whole mm-hmm. new packaging. Mm-hmm. And right. And the reason I choose the gold one is that, you know, you're kind of saying on the more generic because you're not tailoring specifically for Christmas because not everyone celebrates Christmas. Yep. You have Jewish people who Thank don't you. celebrate yep. Christmas. Yep. But they still have Hanukkah gifts mm-hmm. that they have to buy. Yeah. And, you know. Or just awesome yeah. Food. Birthdays. Exactly. You don't want it to be too specific as mm-hmm. far as, you know, theme wise. Mm-hmm. Makes sense. That's clever. That, that, that. That's, that's, I think I think every business can take that to heart that it's not like I think so many people get on kind of like a, 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 a heated moment 
about being like, well, it's not Christmas colors. It's like, well, it's not about that. Yeah. It's about being smart business because you're not buying 12 different types of packaging and therefore you have to increase your prices over time to justify it. In this way, you can go to everybody and it still looks classy and still on brand. And I think there's a lot more thought into that than just wrapping it in green and, and red and being like, slap a Christmas sticker on it and yeah, <laughs> call exactly. it a day. Yeah. You, you could also do that though, if you wanted to. Oh, ab- ab- absolutely. I don't <laughs> yeah. think there's anything wrong with it. I just think like it's everything you do, mm-hmm. you have to think of it as a business. Mm-hmm. Cause right. so, so some, something I, I always like to say is you can't keep doing this. You can't keep helping people. You don't do this because at the end of the day, you're like, oh, I need to make a dollar. Otherwise, you know, there's no point in doing this. You do this because you freaking love it. Mm-hmm. Right. But you can't keep doing it if you don't keep your doors open. Like if you're making zero money on it, that means you can't afford to do it. Mm -hmm. So being a smart business person, it comes with time, comes with practice, comes with experience. That was really clever. And it's like those kind of decisions are truly what's going to hit you over that hurdle so you can start opening your school and yeah. brick and mortar places that's like so that. awesome or that's even so just cool. launching our next line because people always ask like do you have a sweeter one dying to ask do you this. have a spicier one and yes we even have names for them i even have labels for them we oh. just this is still kind of our seed money builder mm. to be able to move on to our next mm. batch of things uh-huh. he also has a delicious salsa that we want to pitch so is, it's like is that what you're telling me yeah oh my the god salsa so, awesome. yeah. so there's a there's a lot of things that are riding on this. So we want to make sure that we're not spending a bunch of money into this guy when you're supposed to be building so the money. Yeah. Yeah. If, if awesome. you need feedback on the spicy stuff, he's your guy. You know what the name of our spicy one is? Oh, oh, oh my exclusive? god! It's called Big Dog Heat. Okay. And uh, the sweeter one is called Puppy Sweet. Oh, oh my god! My I love heart. that. I love that. Don't change a thing. <laughs> Don't change a thing. It's God, perfect. It's so good branding. It's yeah. perfect. Keep it on brand. Love it. Big dog heat. I know. Do you have a, a, a the art for it? I do. It's basically this label, but with the updated name. Okay. Yeah. Okay. And more flames. More flames. <laughs> a little sweat drip. It's funny because uh, his salsa verde had specific requests of hotter ones. Okay. Mm. So we've then since renamed them to this person's name. And the <gasps> I did that. Yeah, that's nice. awesome. And then it'll have the amount of jalapeno on the bottle of logo mm. indicating awesome. how hot okay, it is. Okay, that is super helpful for somebody that's scared of heat. You yes, know, like, I'm yep. yes, yeah. I'm like one jalapeno is all I can take. And I <laughs> love that there's like different levels. Yes. No, thank you. Right. Our generic one is actually not very, not very hot at all, and okay. I don't do heat very well. Okay, so. I do. <laughs> I'm, I'm waiting. <laughs> why, why did you say it like a freaking perv? Because for heat, I am. I okay. grew, I grew tomatillas <laughs> this year, so we, we grow tomatillas this okay. year. Okay, okay. Got some really nice yeah. ones. So we should be making some again soon. Okay, well, you let me know if you need anything. Absolutely. Anything I, I have He's a garden out back that's... Yeah. 75 hot peppers in the garden. And, and, wait, wait, what? One, 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 two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, sixteen 14, 15, 16. 16 super hots in my garden this year. Wow. Ranging from Dragon's Death, Reaper, a bunch of other ones that no one gives a shit listening to this there podcast. Was <laughs> there was something Hungarian, I, wasn't there? Black Hungarian, Black but Hungarian. that was like zero heat, though. That, 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 that's right, that's why hot. it's Hungarian, duh. <laughs> 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 Hungarians don't like heat. I like heat. I, I don't want to kill though my my customers. I want them to come back. <laughs> <laughs> I'll, I'll make it hot, but uh, you know. Where are you taking this from? From from here, you you have these good good goals. Mm-hmm. You have uh you have your sauces and your or your rubs in stores. Are the sauces in stores too? Yep. Oh, Both okay, the go barbecue ahead. sauce and the rub. Uh, they're in a couple aces. Uh, High V in Sycamore. <gasps> And then That's um, cool. we have some really cool friends that uh, own the chopping block in in Lincoln Square. I know chopping block. Yeah, yeah. They and, carry the sauce, and they carry. Wow. Yeah. That's they, awesome. Okay, yeah, so what's magic. what's the next step? Like you're 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 far more reaching than I th- I thought. This is <laughs> awesome. Uh, well, we finished competition season. You know, we have two more competitions, uh, and then we'll start. Um, trying to do like what we did with Ace and figuring out places that, hey, would you mind trying this mm. and, and going from there? 
we're also trying to build more videos on our YouTube page to like just demo how to use this, not Dude. necessarily like sell the sauce, but just show people how mm-hmm. show to use value. it. Show value. Yeah, and, and I mean, like, after talking to you guys, I want to start cooking ribs, but I don't know how. <laughs> oh, right. So like, make make me like a five minute or less how to cook ribs easy, and you will have yeah, me for what, life. That's what we try Good to point. keep our videos to is like five minutes or that's smart. About, that's smart. You know, so his idea is always to show the full process of how to do it. My mm. idea is to, I want those fast clips that show, yep. mix the ingredients, put it on the meat, put it in the oven, take it out, mm-hmm. done. And like the so you could have long version, short right. version. Yeah. Yeah. That was our that's goal. That's our compromise. Yeah. Yeah. Dude. Yeah. Dude. Our goal is Love to that. film the long ones yeah. for the YouTube video so and then do the little ones for, so for the, the TikToks. Well. Same. Wow. Yeah. If I look at a video that I want to learn something from, if it's under 10 minutes, I'm not even in interested. I right. want the ones that are an hour, hour, hour plus. Mm-hmm. I want to yeah. learn about what I'm watching. Yeah. Um, but my wife, Perfect example. She wants the 30 seconds. Mm-hmm. I want the, the step, 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 done. Mm-hmm. I was like, but why are we doing that? Yeah. Who cares? Come on, Adam. I let, just want to eat it. Tell, <laughs> the, tell the story behind <laughs> it. Exactly. Yeah. But, but that, that's it, is you have those, those two audiences. That's yeah. so smart. Super oh smart. It's just, he's always concentrated on the one thing, and I'm always spinning it. Okay, what about if we do these also on top of yeah. what you're already doing to get, like, the more audience mm-hmm. as many as mm-hmm. possible kind of thing. Do, do, do you do your analytics on YouTube to like, are you seeing which views are getting, like which videos are getting more views? We don't have enough videos on there right now to be able to utilize that. We only have two on there right now. One <gasps> of them is public. Okay. How to make bacon. Should try is it. it? Oh. Like, no. Yes. Yeah. That's the one that's on there. How to make bacon. <laughs> Start to finish. Okay. Every step. Well, you guys should watch. You should like how take. Bacon. Uh, you probably watch the reels. No, I watch something long. That was how to make bacon. Oh there my god! Go. Obviously, he, I retain the information. Well, I think when you and I watched it together, it was just to look over flaws and that I saw because I'm it. the person who shot it and uh, was like, "Oh my oh god!" Oh my god! That's right. That's why I watched it. Yes. So you didn't really pay attention. I was not. I yes. was like, "Okay, the sound is here. You light, light, lights here. Yes. Camera." So needs that's to stop what moving. we were looking. <laughs> yes, that's what we were looking for. We were kind of troubleshooting all the things that I see, and you're like, "No one else is gonna see that but you." I'm like, "But I see it." Mm-hmm. Yeah. And you're like, no one else is going to see it. Nobody I was like, cares. That's sun flare. You're like, what no. sun flare? I'm no. like, that's right, sun right, flare. Right. Yeah. So it's, 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 yeah, we're working on that. So hopefully during the cold oh. season, mm-hmm. we could do more in the kitchen stuff. And cool. you saw our kitchen. Our kitchen looked very homely. You, you called it very homey. homely. Homey. Homey. I said homey. Homey Lee. <laughs> <laughs> Different level. <laughs> But yeah, so we're going to try to homie. Yeah, we're going to try to like he had a salmon video that we needed a little more work on. That was our first video. So we've upgraded a little bit more equipment okay. since like better lights, better um, microphones. And Light and stuff audio. Like that. That's so the main thing. So hopefully we'll, we'll do more recipes like how to make chicken with our sauce, how to make like wings this football season. How mm-hmm. do you make chicken quesadilla with our sauce? That's like, clever. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So things like that. So mm-hmm. hopefully as it gets colder and we can't grow outside as much anymore. Just that, shoot, 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 yeah. shoot, shoot. Mm-hmm. We can always grow outside. There mm-hmm. you go. Attaboy. boy. <laughs> <laughs> Air fryer. <laughs> oh, dude, nothing wrong with air fryers. That's how I Love cook it. everything. Ice cream is terrible. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Just so covered in something. Fried ice cream. That takes too much. That, that, anything more than three steps is cooking. Open the lid. True. Scoop it out. That's two steps. I still have to eat it. Open the lid, scoop it out, dump it in some Okay, that's panko. three. Now I'm co- co- cooking. Now throw it in. Now I just want to go home. <laughs> Oh my God, that got bummed out really quick. <laughs> okay, so uh, you guys have, have have graced us with your awesome story, with your awesome information. Like, I want to know where to buy this. Where can people follow you and not only buy it, but where can they follow your story? There's your camera right there. Sell it. Colettaskitchen.com, K-A-L-E-T-A-S, kitchen.com. And uh, you can get it at the Yorkville Ace, Oswego Ace. Uh, High V and the chopping block in Lincoln Square. And what are your socials? Oh, uh, Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, uh, TikTok. Same name for all of them. At Coletta's Kitchen. Nice. nice. Guys, thank you so much for taking the time to come out here. This was a blast. Yeah, thank you Absolutely. for having us. Yeah. It was oh so my much God. fun. So you have to come back when you have a new flavor. 
uh, come back when you have fucking ribs for me to eat. How about that? Okay. S- sounds fair. I mean, yeah. I'm, I'm feeling like really like gypped for not having the wonderful ribs that they've been talking about. I'm like, all I have is the sauce. Award winning ribs. Award winning ribs. My bad. I apologize. Thank you so much, you guys. Can I go pee now? Yes. Stop laughing. <laughs> you get so mean at the end. I'm sorry, I'm not <laughs> This is the good life. Whoa.